Today Bon Bon and I are going out with my dog. So let's get him out of the car. Stay. Oh, good boy. Stay. Sit. Stay. Stay. That's back up. Stay. Okay. Go boy. Go boy. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Lunchy. He usually doesn't care about this at all. Good boy. So we're taking a little break. He's standing here just fine. There's nobody with us except for Lunchbox who's over there hunting for something. Good boy. And we're going to go off. Okay. Hey, let's go. So, um, we had the bike come up behind us. He went a little forward, so I knew something was there. And then uh, I just jumped him right up this hill. Good boy. We're going this way, Lunchbox. Good boy. This way. Good boy. But nothing bad, and that's what we jumped up to get out of the biker's way. Good boy. And, uh... So you'll see, I went above the biker because the horses feel much more secure being above them than below them. Uh, so just a little training tip. If you can, go up the hill or go a little, you know, walk a little further and then jump up the hill. If you're down below it, sometimes the horses get a little goofy with that. It's just instinct. So you'll see he walks out. Um, Speed-wise in his gates, he's not really fast, but he has a, f a forward very smooth walk, even downhill, um, not trippy, pays attention, you know, and uh, very nice, and he um, tries to pay attention to you as well, so, you know, if you relax, he stops, or the dog runs in front of him, or something like that, um, he'll pay attention to it, so, he's a good boy. Hey, this is a really good boy, he heard me talking, so he stopped. Uh, really long downhill. It's a good test for the horse's stifles. He's doing fine. We've done it before with cars. Um, but this is better test than any vet check, I believe. It's just riding him down this hard stuff and seeing how they do with it. But he's doing great. Oops. Oh, that was nice. So Huntsbox cut us off and he stopped so we didn't run into him. Very polite horse. Okay, so his part twist and turn, so I like Lunchbox to get ahead, so if a bike is coming down flying, they might actually slow down if they see the dog out there first. Sometimes not. <laughs> not fun. Because again, the horse doesn't know what it is because, you know, it comes flying through the woods, and what's the mountain lion do? It comes flying through the woods to attack it, so horse relies on its instincts first, and then when it sees its bike, it's like, oh, but by that time they might have jumped or tried to run away. So, if you have a dog, that's the part to send the dog out first to give them notice that, you know, something's with the dog. This is a good part to uh, practice gating, because we can see a little bit. It's flat, and then it's going uphill. It's not really going downhill that much. You're just trying to keep a smooth rhythm. With this guy, if you keep his head a little bit higher, it helps so he stays smooth. If he gets it, you know, too low, then he's not as smooth. But he's a lot of fun. <laughs> I really like him. I like all my horses, but... So when you're practicing their gait, you know, see this is like an S turn, here's his lunchbox, um, so when you're practicing your gait, you're trying to, you know, drive them some with your legs, depending on the horse, keeping their 
weight more off their front end, getting them to engage themselves, and then you're trying to practice holding the same speed. Lots of people, you know, go slow, go fast, go slow, go fast. It's like a car jerking back and forth. So you're trying to just make it a nice smooth rhythm because the horse can't practice his gait or at least this intermediate gait if you go too fast and then too slow. So you're trying to ride right in the middle because that's where they can making sure there's no bikes coming. That's where they can, um, you know, hold their speeds the longest. If you're running super fast on trail, you know, you're going to wear your horse out. So just a nice easy rhythm, easy gait. You'll see my reins aren't really tight or anything. Um, forward ones you're trying to give and take. If it's one dragging you, you know, and you're holding it the whole time, it usually means you might want to put a stronger bit in that horse and practice more transitions to help you over time. But some, no matter what, are very goy on trail. Mine are usually not. Okay, so now we're halfway through the trail ride. So I'm stopping and let them eat some grass to make them know it's fun to be out here by ourselves. And the lunchbox is over there hunting something. Lunchy. There it comes. So um, we're going to give him a break and then put his bridle back on and head towards home in a little bit. So you see he's nice and calm. He doesn't care as long as he gets something good. He's like, remember that people, whoever buys me. Give me something good when I'm out. Bunchy, stay. Good boy. Easy. Alright, just kind of half all going down the hills because that can be a little steep and muddy. You know, if you if you don't, your horses can go down the hill pretty fast, but you don't want them to do that. So. You got a half halt each step or each couple of steps so they know to stay slow and not just run down the hill. Now we're just heading back to the barn.